In other news, this morning, Montana cont continues to be the home of some of the highest quality cattle and beef in the world. And soon, Montana ranchers will be helping increase the genetic power in cattle herds in Central America. Russell Nemitz tells us more in today's Montana Ag Report. If you look around, you can see the genetic you all have over here. So we're trying to introduce this kind of genetic to our country. That's why last fall, with the help of the Montana Department of Agriculture, a group of Nicaraguan cattlemen toured several Montana ranches and even the Nile Stock Show in Billings. Nicaragua is the biggest beef producer in Central America. We have 5.4 million head of cows over there. And we have a problem with quality meat. Montana has long been known as the seed stock capital of the world, and soon some of these high-quality Charlay and Red Angus genetics could be headed for Central America. The Department of Agriculture here in Montana has done a great job showing us everything that you all have here. And, and now, the end, what we're going to do is start importing straw of semen back to our country so we can introduce this kind of genetic over there. Montana ranchers are also excited about the opportunity and what their beef cattle genetics can offer. Conversion on uh, cattle, just crossbreeding, that was a big thing for them. You know, they're dealing with uh, Brahma cattle and they want to get a cross cattle to uh, be able to uh, supply you know, meat to their country so they can uh, di diversify just on the, instead of just the pure Brahma. And the recent trade mission to Montana was indeed a success as the first shipment of 3,500 straws of Montana beef cattle semen will be shipped to Nicaragua in March. I'm Russell Nimitz reporting MTN News. Now Nimitz says Nicaraguan cattlemen hope that this first shipment of beef cattle genetics is just the first of many trade agreements with Montana ranchers.